Putting a best foot or face forward is difficult for some people when they've suffered abuse or trauma or been hospitalized because they've been the victim of a crime. The city of Charleston has created a program that will help people who are in need of something as basic as a new shirt on their back. Clothes may not make the man or woman, but for a victim of abuse or trauma, it can symbolize the beginning of the healing process. Oftentimes when we have a, say a victim and we bring them into the department for the officers to interview them, however, the victim's not dressed properly. The coordinator of the City of Charleston Sweatsuit Sunday program says they often help people. We have victims of sexual assault, um, domestic violence. Who have escaped violence with only the clothes they were wearing. We pick them up from the hospital sometimes and then we have to relocate them afterwards. We try to make them as comfortable as possible. The victims are women, children and sometimes men. We are asking the public to donate relaxed clothing for all ages and for all demographics. The city of Charleston is hoping local churches will donate clothing, but will also talk about issues of abuse and neglect. That way it will open a door between the churches and the police department. Last year, more than a thousand people were helped. Just the last one. Small says it's a step forward for people who've hit a stumbling block. Domestic violence or any crime affects the entire community. If you would like to make a donation to the Sweatsuit Project, here's how to do it. This information is geared toward churches and other local organizations, and all are welcome to make donations. You can find the information on exactly how to donate. They will pick up those items if you call this number, 843-720-2425. Again, 843-720-2425. Or you can contact C. Smalls at charleston-sc.gov.